this individual right here is a hate preacher and he shows up to a city hall in i believe houston i want to say i think it's houston um and he is essentially going to advocate for killing the gays yeah so let's watch My name is Jonathan Joey. I'm the pastor of Steadfast Baptist Church, and I'm here today because I have church members that live in Arlington. I live only a few miles away from here, and I do business in Arlington on a weekly basis. I'm horrified and ashamed that this city has decided to promote uh, and solicit pride in this city. Pride. Hang on a second. It sounds like he's triggered. Am I wrong? It sounds like he's triggered. It sounds like the snowflake is asking for a safe place or safe space, excuse me, away from gay people. Hmm, is this not cancel culture? He's trying to cancel pride, cancel gay people? I mean, come on, come on. I thought that you were the people who were against hypersensitive snowflakes. Mm, mm, seems like cancel culture to me. Seems like this dude is a huge pussy and he needs to stop being a beta male. It's nothing to be celebrated. In fact, it's an abomination. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 8, the fear of the Lord is to hate pride, hate evil, I love pride, that he's arrogancy, and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate. According to God, we should hate pride, not celebrate it. We should humble ourselves. And well, I don't believe in God. I reject your God. You quoted something from the Bible. I could pull out some lore from fucking Warhammer. Not that I know anything about that, but my husband could talk your ear off about that. But, like, why is that any less of a religion than your shit? It's both fictional. It's both bullshit. So, fuck your God. I don't give a shit about what your Bible says. I wipe my ass with your Bible. Who cares? As virtually the whole room said that we were a nation under God, according to the American flag, and we were a state under God, according to the Texas flag, we should humble ourselves to what the Bible says yep. and not what a yep. small minority here that is a bully would say. <laughs> Amen. We're the bullies. You know what the problem is? They call us bullies, but we haven't been bullying them enough. I feel like we should do more bullying of homophobes and transphobes. We just haven't been as mean to them as we really need to be. We're focused on a lot of other things, but I really feel like this pride, I'm going to make it a priority to bully these homophobes a lot more, right? My religion is Jedi. That's a legitimate religion. There's more evidence that that exists than the Bible. I mean, I've seen the movies, right? We've seen what Yoda can do, what Luke Skywalker was able to do. In June of 2020, Mayor Jeff Williams officially announced the acceptance of Pride Month in June for the city of Arlington. But I don't understand why we'd celebrate what used to be a crime not long ago. In yep. fact, according to the Texas- I love how they're, <laughs> they're just laughing at him because he's such a fucking dipshit. Section Thank you. Homosexual no, you don't have to be respectful. When somebody is up here preaching hate, and he have, hasn't even gotten to the death part yet, but when he's up here preaching hate, you don't have to be respectful because he's not being respectful. So the booze should be so loud that he shouldn't be able to get a, a single word out because what he's saying is disgusting. God's already ruled mm -hmm. that murder, adultery, witchcraft, rape, bestiality, and homosexuality is are crimes i love how he like equates homosexuality with murder and rape and bestiality as if two human beings being together intimately is like comparable to bestiality or fucking rape like what an imbecile worthy of capital punishment leviticus 2013 the bible says if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely put them dead. Oh, hang on a second, because he cited Leviticus. Let me find it. Hang on one second. I'm going to own him with his own religion. Hang on, folks. Owning someone takes time. Okay, here it is. Hang on, we're going to own this fucker so bad. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shall not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shall not sh sow thy field with mingled seed. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. Okay, so I'm sure that he is wearing clothing of mixed, uh, mixed fabrics. And so the Bible also says that that's bad. So I just owned you by your own uh, religious standards. So can we arrest him immediately, folks? Somebody arrest him. He is breaking God's law.
Their blood shall be upon them. Romans 1 says that men with men are worthy of death. 2 Peter chapter 2 warns and says that in turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example of those that after should live ungodly and deliver just lot fed. I love how there's like a combination of people booing him. And then people in the background, they're like, that's right. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, he knew that he was probably going to be outnumbered. So he had to bring like his, his people with him so they could be like, amen. When he says that gays should be put to death. With the filthy conversation of the wicked. Why is right what these people do is filthy. According to CDC, homosexual men. Oh, no, no, no. We're getting to the good part. Hang on. According to the CDC, what? Okay, okay, there's part two. Hang on. According to the CDC, homosexual men are 230 times more likely to get HIV than straight men. Yep. I don't know why we would yep. promote disease and AIDS in our community. Yep. Additionally, according to this article of self-reported crimes, the LGBT have an average of 20 to 150 children victims and including they commit an average of 154 acts on their victims. Now, here's the thing. They say that uh, they Hang on a second. What are the numbers for straight people? Because more straight men are uh, abusers of children than LGBTQ plus people. In fact, it usually happens from family members, right? But that doesn't mean that all straight men are uh, child abusers and pedophiles. Of course not. That'd be absurd to think that. But this person is... He's trying to, like... What he's doing is throwing everything at the wall to see what sticks. And these are all the arguments that he copied and pasted from like 1998. And he's just bringing them all back. So like all of this is nothing new. And the reason why this doesn't land anymore is because it's too in your face. Conservative nowadays, they've learned that you can't just like overtly say that gays should be put to death. If you want to push homophobia, what you have to do... Do you see the desecration of the flag here? That's disrespect. Buddy, were you digging the flag? Folks, kids these days, what was I saying? If you want to actually sell people on homophobia, you have to do it in a very covert way. So you talk about how, wow, I don't want there to be any sexual orientation discussions or gender identity discussions in my school. You don't just say we should kill them. Because that's not how you get people on your side. Although I've got to say, with the way that the Republican Party is going, maybe they bring that back. Maybe they say, okay, you know, maybe we should talk about putting gay people to death again. Who knows? Love so much, but they hate children. Yep. They hate Baptists. Yep. They hate Christianity. They hate God. I, I do hate um, you types of Christians. Um, I don't hate God because I don't believe in God. I don't hate something that I don't believe exists. Ben. We should eliminate Pride Month. We should eliminate the LGBT department liaison. We should eliminate the travel page dedicated to LGBT. And everyone in this room should watch the sodomite deception, which would clearly help. Ew, you, you're telling them to watch sodomites? You're, you're, telling them to, <laughs> you're telling them to watch sodomy? Wow. I just owned him again. He's, he, if he sees this, he's going to run. <laughs> he's going to run and hide forever because I destroyed him with his own Bible. And by owning him for saying people should watch sodomy. What the Bible says on this issue, providing actual stats instead of bullying people. Amen. Amen. These people are literally applauding for gays to be put to death. And notice how, thankfully, there's only like a couple of them. So that's good. This is why people are leaving Christianity. Because you're all judgmental, hateful little pricks. It was the same with my church. Same with my church as well. They were so judgmental. And when you tried to judge them back, when you pointed out their hypocrisy, oh, they didn't like that. Like not even when it comes to homosexuality. Of course, you know, when I grew up in my church, uh, you know, they were very anti-LGBTQ. But um, even just like little things, like I remember every fucking thing that I liked um, as a child, particular video games, uh, Pokemon, Halo, even Mario Brothers, there would be some weird newsletter that our pastor would put out and say, oh, well, these things are, uh, they're uh, corrupting our young men. And not just like things that I like, just popular things that I happen to like. And so then my family would force me to get rid of it. Or if they didn't say you have to get rid of it, they'd say, well, okay, you can make the choice. You can either get rid of it or when you die, you burn in hell for all of eternity. And being like 10, I thought, okay, 
I guess this is a sacrifice I'm willing to make, but I mean, I hate that I have to give up my Pokemon cards because it makes me happy. But when I point out how, hey, you said that I couldn't have witchcraft because Pokemon is somehow witchcraft, but in these Disney movies like Cinderella and whatnot, there's a literal witch in it. Why is that okay, but it's not okay for me to like what I like? Well, they didn't have an answer for that. Oh, well, it's about good versus evil. But so, so is the shit that I like. Oh, well, you know, there's a, there's a message about God somewhere in there. What? I could say the same shit. So you eventually realize that they're just making shit up as they go along. And you have to do that because if you literally read just the same fucking book over and over and over again, it's going to get stale. So that's why they try to mix it up, right? They bring in a choir to make it seem fun. So it's kind of like you're at a concert. They do these relatable, you know, Bible studies where they talk about how, um, you know, we're watching Netflix all the time. Isn't Netflix cool, kids? But like, hey, maybe we could be worshiping God instead. Like, it's so ridiculous. As a queer person, this is terrifying. Yeah, I don't find this terrifying because... According the CDC. I mean, I grew up with this rhetoric. So I've been conditioned to just accept that this is normal even though it's not normal but to me i've heard this all the time so you know seeing this it's just like oh hey haven't seen that in a while i guess the homophobes are coming out of the closet again and it is because the gop by the way is normalizing homophobia again and um transphobia and whatnot you found the homophobes youtube channel can i check it out do you have a link to that i'd like to see it jonathan shelley that's his name finally delivered a sermon on the love of Christ. I'm just kidding. He broke his own record of saying the F slur. Wow. Again, I've said this a bunch before, but anyone who cares that much about homosexuality who's supposedly straight, I doubt that. Seems like you have some issues yourself. I love how they have to spell sodomite and leet because, they, because you do. <laughs> oh no, they're burning a pride flag. Oh no! That's too edgy. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our God. Lord Jesus Christ and by our. God damn, that audio is so bad. What the fuck? Is this like an old taping or is this the actual quality of their mics? Bring together unto him that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us as that the day of is anyone else unironically getting demonic vibes from this like i feel a demonic presence in this video it's 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 legitimately creepy the music like when you when you think about church wouldn't you want it to be like inspirational like you have um like i don't know some sort of fucking violin playing or some shit like this sounds like halloween music it is at hand let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Do not, not come. come. Oh. I'm gonna come. And I... Oh. I will. Get this Lesbo off my screen. Let me fast forward a little bit. Oh, this is like a documentary. This is the hate preacher. Okay. No matter how much the world deviates or perverts the truths of God's word. But one thing's undeniable, America has been rapidly changing over the last few decades. It has been, cope and seethe, bitch. By the LA Police Department in 1961 called Boys Beware. They literally make a whole documentary exposing how sodomites are trying to take boys and do things to them and harm them and hurt them. You're not doing a good job of hiding your own flamboyance here. He looks like he's in the closet, thank you, right? It is. This dude is sus as fuck. Can you believe what these homosexuals are doing? <laughs> like, I'm doing like the stereotypical gay fucks, but it's like <laughs> they're just, they're just not very good at like hiding it. Uh, let me let me get to the uh, actual conclusion here. Did for them is death, burial, and resurrection, and believe that that's what paid for all of their sins. The Bible makes it clear in John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him... Okay, this was like the favorite verse of my church as well, and it just proves how stupid their God is. God loved the world, so he had his son killed 
so that way they could go to heaven. If you're God and you literally have all the power of the universe, why not just like subvert that whole weird drama and just make everyone go to heaven? Isn't it stupid to like have a son who's also yourself and then have him killed? Like it's not a cogent narrative. Oh, God loves you. So that's why he he sent his son to the earth, which is really himself. And then he had himself killed. And then he was able to say, okay, now you can go to heaven. It doesn't make any sense. And like Christian people love to share this, but it is so stupid. And it kind of like proves how weird Christianity is. If your God is stupid enough to kill himself, who's also his son, then maybe that God is just a petty little bitch. If your God has to flood the world because he's triggered uh, by like, I don't know, shenanigans. Mm, I think that the murder is way worse than the shenanigans, is it not? Like, if you're literally killing every single human being on the planet, seems like that's worse than whatever they're doing. Fucking each other. I don't know. Licking each other's asses. I don't know. Beta male.